moving inside Seoul in South Korea might look a little bit complicated due to the fact that there is no Google Maps over here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the public transport over here, specifically the subway. And I will give you the tips of a few apps that will help you when planning your trip to South Korea. When moving inside Seoul, the best way is using the public transport, in this case the metro or the buses. It is way much cheaper and it's quite good to use. All you need to buy is a T-card, which is a travel card. You can find it in any convenience store or even at the airport. And from there, you can reload it every time you need to use it. Or you can put a certain amount of money a day for yourself to use. Each trip costs around 1,200 won. So that's not bad at all and it works in all public transport. And you can use it today even in super supermarkets and taxis as well so i'm just gonna reload mine now you can choose the language you place your card and then you choose how much you want to put i got 5200 won which is enough but i'm just gonna put 2000 more just in case it's very important to know that you need to bring some cash with you and the car will be reloading it's very important to know that in all korea google maps doesn't work so i would suggest you an app which is called neighbor the only thing is that it's in english so you need to practice a little bit your English if you don't speak English. It's very similar to Google Maps and it will tell you which bus number or which metro line you have to take to reach your destination. Another I highly suggest you to download apart from neighbor is Kakao, which is an app very similar to Uber. When you need to take a taxi, it is way cheaper than a regular taxi. Another very important thing is that most of these apps just work with Korean number. So when you arrive to Korea, I highly recommend you to buy a SIM and it's way cheaper than using the internet international roaming so i bought mine at the coex mall center and it cost me something probably about 50 us dollars for unlimited data for 10 days so that's not bad at all and it was way cheaper than at the airport as well you can use this service also when arriving from the airport to the seoul city you can get the railroad express or the one with all the stops i took the one with all the stops and yes pretty good service so yeah this is the metro of seoul pretty nice it looks like a mall really really good and it's quite quiet everyone just on their phones it's not so busy right now but it can get pretty busy Here you got all the stops from here for the all stop service. I need to go to Hongkip University and then I'm gonna change to another line in order to get to my hotel. And yes, I mean, pretty simple, but of course, if you don't know it, you can easily get lost. I made my research before coming. I listened to friends from here in Korea as well. And yes, all the platforms are like this. We avoid, you know, people trying to hurt themselves so it doesn't open until the train is here. So yeah, pretty modern to be honest. Station. Let's try the service and see how is this train towards the city of Seoul. So yeah, here we are in the train. We've got a couple of stops and then change to another station and to my hotel. And it's extremely quiet. Everyone just on their phones, minding their own business. So I just arrived to the Hongkip University Station. From here I need to take the line to to go to Samsung Station and then from there walk to my hotel. So yeah, it was actually 10 stops from the airport to Hongkip University Station. Got pretty busy at some point towards getting to Hongkip University Station. Yes, I noticed that everyone used the other face mask and I saw two guys entering uh, with security uniform and told someone to put the mask on. I mean, I don't understand Korean, but they did like this to the person. So I guess in here, yeah, it's still pretty compulsive to use the mask. It was for me to the flight, but I didn't know how it was the situation here. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't mind the face mask, it's okay. Something that caught my attention as well is that during my trip on the railroad train, there is this TV in which you have the news, you even have cooking programs and advertising. Very cool. Keep entertaining myself during the trip. And now I'm here in Hongkiwi University Station. It's pretty cool. It looks like a small mall. We got here restaurants, bars, gift shops. Very nice and precious so far of Korea. You got even this Dunkin' Donut, which is very famous around the world. So yeah, pretty complete station over here. K-pop, which is a big, big thing here in Korea. So you see a lot of advertising of concerts for K-pop. Pretty cool. So 
you can see here, it is a really, really busy station. People rushing to go to where they need to go. I'm still walking to get the line to, to get to my final destination. Got a map here that tells you where you are and then all stations. So it's pretty simple. You just need to follow the lines. There is from line one to line nine. Yeah, the good thing is in English as well, apart from Korean, so that helps a lot. So this one here is a station I just arrived. It's Samsung Station, which is the closest to my hotel. So actually connected to the station, you go here, the mall. So cool. It feels like you got everything in one and then a few meters just a hotel. So I think this area is pretty cool. I look at this view. So, so cool. So there, yeah, that's the one of the malls because there's more than one. That's the Starfield and we got the Koei as well. And then there is another one over there, Parna Mall. Well, impressive, impressive, impressive. And that's my hotel over there. It is called Gladkamnan Hotel. It has really good reviews. I found it in the top 10 of hotels in Seoul and it's located in the district of Gangnam, one of the most important districts of the city of Seoul. I'll be showing you my room. So I am on the 12th floor and um, yeah, my room number is 1201. So let's show you the room. So yeah, this is the toilet, all the basic amenities, so shower, hello. Uh, soap, shampoo, air conditioning. Got the toilet, very modern. You can control the water pressure or food heating on the chair. It's like very Korean, Japanese style of toilet. Towels. So yes, I have two beds, even though I'm on my own. Got a desk, water, place to hang your clothes. Got really nice messages in the room as well. A nice TV, good size TV, a fridge, kettle. You can put also here like the message like Please make up the room or you can put message do not disturb. So you got plugs, you got the safe, got more plugs here in case you don't have an adapter. So for this video guys, I hope all these tips are helpful for you for your next trip when coming to Seoul, South Korea. As usual, remember to leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Travel wonderful!